In this tutorial today I would like to talk about the automatic combustion control system used in the industrial boiler. The primary function of combustion control is to deliver air and fuel to the burner at a rate that satisfies the firing rate demand and at a mixture, air-fuel ratio, that provides safe and efficient combustion. Insufficient air flow wastes fuel due to incomplete combustion and can cause an accumulation of combustible gases that can be ignited explosively by hot spots in the furnace. Too much air flow wastes fuel by carrying excess heat up the stack. Combustion controls are designed to achieve the optimum air-fuel ratio, while guarding against the hazard caused by insufficient air flow. Here we have the schematic diagram of the automatic combustion control system used in the industrial boilers. This system has four measuring elements. A steam flow sensor to measure flow rate of the steam loaded from the boiler. A steam pressure sensor to measure the pressure of steam in the boiler. A fuel flow sensor to measure fuel flow to the boiler burners. In addition to air flow sensor to measure the air flow to the boiler. Also, we have two PID controllers as the following. Fuel flow controller to regulate fuel valve. And air flow controller to regulate air flow by opening and closing the damper. The steam pressure and the flow signal are transmitted to the computing relay. The computing relay generates the master signal depending on the load of the boiler as this master signal represents the fuel required to the boiler. The master signal is fed as a set value to the low and high signal selectors. In the low signal selector, the master signal is compared with the signal representing the airflow. The selector passes the master signal only if it is lower. In the high signal selector, the master signal is compared with a signal representing the fuel flow. The selector passes the master signal only if it is higher. When the steam demand is high, high signal selector passes the master signal to airflow controller. The airflow controller increases the airflow by adjusting the damper position. As the airflow increases, the airflow sensor transmits the signal to the low signal selector and airflow controller. The master signal passes to the fuel flow controller to increase the flow of fuel by adjusting the fuel flow valve position. When the steam demand is low, low signal selector permits the master signal to the fuel flow controller. Fuel flow controller decreases the flow of fuel by adjusting fuel valve. As the fuel flow decreases, the fuel flow sensor transmits the signal to the high signal selector and fuel flow controller. The selector sends the master signal to air flow controller to decrease air flow by adjusting the damper. So this control system maintains the air-fuel ratio and prevents incomplete combustion of fuel with changing steam demands. For more technical details of control loop types, you may review my previous videos, as I left the links in the description box below. If you like this video please subscribe this channel and press bell icon, to get notification of new videos. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day.